hello and welcome back to another video in this video i'll be showing you how to install pop os on virtualbox so pop os is a free and open source linux distribution based upon ubuntu and featuring a customized gnom desktop environment known as the cosmic and it is uh, developed by an american linux computer manufacturer system76 and i'm sure you have heard about the system76 before so before going to the process of installation first of all please don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, it means a lot to me so let's leave it here and let's start the process right away to install the pop os first of all we need to download the iso file of the pop os and you just need to go to the official side of pop os and click on download i'll give this link in the description box so if you have an nvidia graphics card then you can just install the download the 22.0 for lts and with nvidia driver otherwise you can just go for the first one so just click and download so after downloading the iso file of the pop os you need to download the virtual box so you can download the virtual box from this link i'll give this link in the down in the description box so you can just go to the windows host and download the virtual box for windows and so after downloading the virtual box and the iso file of the pop os you need to install a virtual box if you haven't just simple process you just need to next 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 and just click on as that's it it's pretty much simple So after the installation, launch your VirtualBox. And um, now this is the interface of the VirtualBox. So to install the Pop OS, first of all, we need to set up the few things. So just click on new. And after that, type the operating system name. Just type Pop OS and choose the type Linux. And you can choose the type uh, Deviant since the pop os is based on the ubuntu and we know that ubuntu is again based on debian so you can choose the debian and just click on next uh, you can allocate uh, ram size for your pop os system so according to the website they recommend using the four gigs of ram but two gigs of ram is also okay so if you have 4 gigs of RAM, then it's better to choose the 4 gigs of RAM and just click on next. Just create and just click on next. So now you need to allocate the size of the virtual hard drive for the Pop OS system. So it's better to choose um, allocate at least 20 gigs of uh, virtual hard drive. So I'm just going to uh, allocate 32 gigs. You can allocate as much as you want that's for your requirement you can just click and create and done the first few things are done uh, for the pop os now before starting you need to go on settings and inside the settings go to the advanced section and set this as bidirectional and again set this the drag and drop as bidirectional it will enable uh, to copy paste um, the share the folders and files between the whole system and the pop os so make sure to do this just now go to the system and inside the system go to the processor now you can allocate the processor for your uh, pop os system so you can allocate up to the green mark but um, according to your capabilities of a pc you can allocate up to two to three um, you can just uh, leave it after this and go to the display section and you can uh, set the video memory uh, you can just set it up to the green mark or you can just set it the half as per your system capabilities so after this uh, you need to go to the graphics controller and set this as uh, vbox um, bza you need to set it as vbox bza to be it on full screen during the installation and after this you need to go to the storage section and choose this empty section and you need to add as a disk file for the pop os so just choose a disk file 
and you need to go to the folder where you have downloaded the popware sios file so just choose that and click on ok so we are done here the process of setting up the popware in our virtual box system is done now we just need to click on start after that can view it on full screen from here click on the switch that's it so here we go this is the interface of the pop os and now you can see the installation uh, screen here so just you need to choose the language so choose your default language and just select english now you need to choose the country here just select and after that uh, you need to choose the keyboard layout and you can just test your keyboard layout here after choosing and now choose the I'm just going to choose the default and here we go now we need to choose the partition to install the pop OS so we are installing it in VirtualBox so I'm going for a first option so choose the clean clean the disk which has been created so it was the 32 gigs of hard drive which we created previously so I'm just going to choose that after that I'm just going to clean and install so this is the hard drive virtual hard disk which was created of 32 gigs choose that and select the arrays and install now you need to type your full name Choose your account password. So here we go. The installation process is started. You can see the installation process is not that hard. If you previously install Ubuntu or any other distros, then you can easily install the Pop OS since it is already based on Ubuntu now you can just choose the restart the device so type your password which I just created during installation So here we go the welcome screen pop-ups here now you can customize the settings for a bit dock extends to edge so you can just choose this one or you can just select the other according to your taste you can just click on next so you can customize where time and date and notification position so I'm just going to set it to left yeah it looks cool just click on the next so use this search for easier navigation just click on next and you can choose the appearance so I'm just going to choose the dark one you can open the location service and you can select your time zone here so I am from here so I'm just going to choose this and you can set your online accounts Microsoft Google uh, whatever I'm going to skip this for now so here we go the things are done pop OS is successfully installed in this system so you can see here the pop OS so everything is just done here so in this way you can install the pop OS in the virtual box so hey guys thanks for watching i'll make such video if you like share and subscribe my channel so see you in next video